We already have amazing 3D animation software. Software such as Maya, Blender, Max, Houdini, Cinema 4D, and so on. But recently, with the introduction of AI to creative fields, we have seen a new 3D animation software emerging. And this 3D software has taken the 3D animation community by storm because it works so well by integrating AI into making 3D animations. I'm talking about Cascador. So what does this mean for 3D animators future? And why is this new software so good and getting the attention of animators, which is a threat to major 3D packages? Or is it really? But before we continue, I want to remind you guys that today is Cyber Monday, the last day of the sale. So this is a great opportunity to get yourself some of the best annals, courses, shaders, you name it. On the Blender market, for example, they are having big discounts, up to 30 or 35%. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the top Blender add-ons and courses that you will ever need. Now back to the video. 3D animation is not the fun profession most people like to think it is. It is mostly long hours of work and doing repetitive tasks, I mean day-to-day -day activities, without even getting compensated properly. People stick with animation mostly because they love it, and they love the craft, so needless to say, it is not for everyone. One of the problems that animators face is being able to deliver believable animations, and they need to do it under a certain deadline. Think about all the moving parts that need to go well together to craft a great movement. Not to mention graph editing and in betweening. And don't get me started on the secondary motions. What I'm trying to say is, there are some things that animators wouldn't mind assigning to a computer or an algorithm. Intercascador. This tool became an instant favorite for many 3D artists, and it has a couple of features that I think just makes sense from an animator's standpoint. It tries to fill in the gap and help animators make their work easier by mainly generating poses as well as helping them with generating physics, which is a huge part of animators work, especially if they want to make believable animations. So Cascador is a standalone 3D animation software for keyframe animation. But what sets it apart from the other animation software is its AI assisted tools, being able to make key poses really fast. And you can see results in real time, but most importantly, adjust secondary motions with a lot of control. But first, let's talk a little bit about animation. So a 3D animation workflow would look like something like this. Usually you start with setting up your key poses. So you go in and painstakingly move your character joint by joint to set up keyframes for each of your character's major poses. Now you go back and start filling the in-between keyframes which are all the passing poses. Then you go to polishing and finally splining, which is adjusting the interpolation between keyframes. One of Cascador's, in my opinion, most innovative features is auto posing. And this one sounds like a gimmick, but trust me, it's not. Leveraging AI technology, it predicts the pose that you want to make and sets it up for you automatically. I mean, it sets automatically the pose that will be generated based on how you move your rig. So if you move the head or the hand, the whole rig will follow suit to keep the movement looking natural. This not only helps a ton when creating key poses, which are your animation building blocks, but it also saves you a ton of time trying to move every single joint separately one by one. The next thing is auto physics. And this one I think is even more powerful than auto posing. You know, usually the only difference between a mediocre animation and a stellar one is all those secondary motions. The follow through, the cave flapping in the wind, leaning forward a bit before stopping, and things like these just add so much life and authenticity to your animations. Usually after the key poses and splitting comes the polish phase, which is one of the most time consuming processes. With Cascador, this tool is called Auto Physics, and all you need to do is set up your key poses, which you can do using auto posing for a faster workflow. Now, enable auto physics and a green duplicate will appear next to your character, only this one will have a lot of additional movement like weight and, well, physics. This is by far the easiest way to add physics accurate movements to your animations. But wait, this is not everything. 
Under physics setting, you can customize almost every aspect of the movement, leveraging Cascador's integrated AI and their physics-based system. And one additional crazy thing to think about is this. Imagine if you already have a good-looking animation. Cascador can elevate that to be absolutely insane with all those small movements. And above all that, Cascador is a fully featured animation software. So you could basically use it the same as you would with other animation software by setting up characters, rigging, timeline, and a graph editor. Don't get me wrong, this software is amazing and can really push your animation to the next level. However, it is far from replacing animators completely. Maybe this day will come, but I don't see it happening in the foreseeable future. But what do you think? Leave a comment down below if you've tried Cascador before, and if you haven't, you can do so for free right now. And you can do this following the links in the description down below. Now, when talking about Cascador and its place in the industry compared to other 3D animation packages, it is important to note that Cascador has not been production tested yet meaning it wasn't really used, at least to my knowledge, on any big game production or VFX production or something like that. However, this doesn't take away from Cascador's capabilities, but this is just how things work in the industry. It takes time for people and artists to adapt to new tools and features and certainly to change workflows. However, the response from animators is predominantly positive all around. People like what Cascador has to offer and what it has to bring to the table, and this is all that matters. Now, is it a threat to other 3D animation software? Absolutely, but it has a long way to go. Cascador is still missing a lot of features, like animation layers, blend shapes, the lack of skinning options, lack of support for facial rigs, and the rigging process itself might be a little bit convoluted. This makes it a hard sell for animators who already have established pipelines of workflows in Maya and 3ds Max in addition to Blender for example. But the software is perfect for indie developers. A lot of 3D artists and animators have stated that they have used Cascador a lot when it comes to character animation and body mechanics, as it offers a ton of time-saving tools like ghosts, trajectories, and twin machine just to name a few. So you can think of Cascador as not a replacement but more of a complementary tool to other major 3D animation software, similar to how ZBrush in Sculpting or Substance Painter in Texturing. So I strongly recommend trying it to see it for yourself whether you are a seasoned animator or a total beginner. The software has a little something for everyone. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.